Hello everyone, this is Dee, continuing with the series um, How to give yourself what you need and stabilize your mental health using your moon sign Wisdom from the moon because that's your mental health, right? So the Libra, I love Libra energy. I have a good friend who's a Libra um, Very good people to be around. I mean they do everything they can to uh, accommodate you and um, they're very um, pleasant to be around they are free-flowing and a loving but that's also the problem <laughs> that is also the problem the Libra moon uh, what you need is to be happy and you can't be happy because you don't know what the fuck you want <laughs> You're so busy making everybody else comfortable. You're so busy making sure you are like, making sure uh, that people appreciate you. You're too focused on the outside. You know, I mean, nobody can truly be um, happy until you are happy. And you can't be happy because you can't, you haven't taken the time to figure out what it is that you want. You simply can't decide. So a good advice, a good practice, I would say, for the um, the Libra moon is to reduce options. I know that doesn't sound like a, it sounds a bit of counter, uh, counter, what, what I'm looking for, a counter acting, kind of interproductive. I don't know how English is failing me today, <laughs> but like reduce, like, you um. I guess what I'm trying to say is um, the Libra struggle with decision fatigue, right? So when you have too many options, it becomes even more of an issue for you to figure out what you want. And the focus should always be to yourself first before you redirect your focus to the people in your environment, what they need for their own comfort. I think I summed it up better this time. <laughs> okay, so... Um, so here it goes. If you are um, having difficulty to figure out what you want, it is something that you have to learn about. Is for the Libra, I mean, that balance, because it's the scale, right? The scale is going to be tipping nonstop to find that moment, that, that center, the center that you so desire, so desperately need, and seems to be something you can't attain, has to come from within. Okay, you have to tap into your heart to your what it is that you need. If you if that's very difficult for you, you could. What are you trying to accomplish with the decision that you want now, and uh, how how would that benefit immediately? What is the immediate step to take? You see what I mean? So if you do it like that, then it's better. It's better to just kind of like, oh my God, do I want this or do I want that? Do I want potatoes or do I want celery? Do I want uh, fish or do I want, you know, uh, steak? You know, uh, is it the red dress or the purple dress? Like it's always a decision. Do I want this job or that job? What's the position? Or, like it's like, what is it that you, that would give you the benefits of everything that you need right now? The only way you could figure out what you want is to not have a long vision, is to have a present moment um, goal. You know, the goal has to be a more present goal. You know, let's say you are looking for this new position uh, and you have two and you have difficulty picking which one. Well, what's the, what is the reason why you were changing job in the first place? Were you making enough money? Is it the environment? Did you hate the job? You couldn't be promoted? You know, what is the main reason why you quit that other job anyway? So if it was for money, then make more money for the next two positions that you have uh, as an option, the goal here. So whichever takes the most, pays the most money, then this is what your decision is. If you are leaving that other job because, you know, the environment sucked even though you had money and you're miserable there and your problem was, not so much the money, but more like you need to work in an environment with a schedule that works for you. And, you know, whichever one present solves that immediate problem. Okay, those were examples, of course. Whichever one, whichever decision you make that would solve the immediate problem, this is what you go with. Otherwise, 
you will um you always find yourself having decision fatigue you just add more options and you get yourself more confused the people pleasing the people pleasing is the thing that gives you the most stress and that's the stuff that gives you anxiety and depression because at the end of the day everybody else get what they need except you but you find because of how you are you you have an act of of, of just uh, attracting good people around you too and they would have accommodated accommodated you oh my god what's wrong with me <laughs> they would have accommodated you if they knew what you wanted you know so nobody can do that process of elimination for you if you don't know what you need then the people around you would have difficulty helping you narrowing uh on what you need so for the libra is quite simple okay uh, but you are prone to, depro to, to depression though because everybody's happy and you just find yourself faking it out, you know. Uh, and the Libras sometimes they, they could fake it. They could fake being happy with certain circumstances. They do that in their relationship, mostly in relationship. They do that in friendship. They do that in so many areas of their life. You could have a very unhappy life and people don't know it because you're so good at faking shit. <laughs> Everybody's laughing, you'll be laughing too because you find that your unhappiness is discomforting to other people and you'll fake it out for them. No, don't do that. Find happiness from within, figure out what you need, what would solve the most immediate issue, the most immediate problem you have, you know, and then let it be known that this is your desire. Let it be known this is what you need. That's what would stabilize your mental health. Okay, Libras, ah, that's a lot of videos. I'm getting tired. <laughs> but um, I will see you in the next video. This one's pretty short. Um, continue with the series. I'm signing off and I'll see you soon. This is Dee. Bye-bye.